Hi everyone, Hannah here. So, um, as you may already know, I uploaded this tutorial and I did not really like the video. Um, I don't have a whole lot of space um, to upload the videos on my phone and I wanted to try to do the video in real time. So I did it from my laptop and I uh, at first, I tried to do the live stream to go live, and I kept having problems with it. I would really like to figure out how to do that, but I am really struggling. So I thought, well, I'll just upload the video through, you know, um, I forget what program it is. I don't, I don't know if I used it just through the the camera app on the laptop or if I went through oh it was some kind of software ORB studio or something like that so I did one of those and I thought that it would have done very well um, and in the video you can see where I'm kind of showing you different things and moving my hands and that's because I'm talking but the video did not pick that up. I guess, I guess the laptop itself, it did not pick it up. And so I was like, well, this is going to be a very long, quiet video. <laughs> so through YouTube, I was able to add music, but it wouldn't, either it won't or I cannot figure out how to do a voiceover through YouTube. So... I just went ahead and uploaded the video like it is and but I wanted to come on here and kind of just show you step by step so in the first of the video you saw where um, I was talking about a stamp so I have a little typewriter stamp um, it's I think Prima romance novel collection I believe so I just took some permanent black ink pressed that into there and stamped it on here. You cannot really see it actually. I probably maybe should have put it down a little bit or something, but I still think the card came out nice even with that. So, um, so that's what I was talking about. And then when I showed the little bottle of the embossing powder, um, I was saying that I did not use the embossing powder for this project, but that you could, and that basically it would just bring out the black more. See, like right now, it's kind of gray. Um, if I would have used the embossing powder, it would have showed the black and some of the little keys on the typewriter. But I kind of wanted to keep it hidden, actually, I was trying to find an image stamp, um, kind of similar, well, not really similar to the ones I sent out in the mix boxes, because I sent out um, hot air balloons, bicycles, flowers, like different things. Um, so I was like, well, I don't really have those stamps in my stash, and I didn't have any extra ones from the boxes. So I was like, well, I'm just going to kind of use a random stamp that's hard to use. But when I did that, I kind of covered it up. <laughs> so, so that was the first thing. And then the next thing that I did, um, these little strips here, I took some of the journaling cards, little three by four cards, and I just cut them into strips because this was what was on the back of the journaling cards, this really pretty green and blue design. So I cut those into strips, some a little bit fatter, some skinnier, and just kind of had, um, just kind of had, had some going up this way, some going this way, glued those down. And then that's when I started to do some of the painting. So I added the blackberry paint and um, I added it just kind of framing around the whole, you know, the whole uh, part where I put all these little strips of paper. And then I did a little, added a little bit of water just to kind of fade it out. Um, you know, along the sides of this turned out really well, well where it kind of faded out. 
Um, this one, not so much, but this was um, darker down here anyway, and I did not have the gesso down here, so that might have been why it looks darker. Um, then I took the soft satin, kind of went around with that, and added more water up toward the tops of the area to kind of fade it out. Um, and I really like how it turned out. This soft satin color is just really beautiful. I love it. Um, and then the next thing that I did was to go ahead and add the flowers, which I think turned out really well. Just to kind of add a little cluster right there. And then I took some of the pieces, um, some of the die cuts that came in the boxes. Um, each box got a random selection, but I tried to give each one, um, you know, like some kind of little square or rectangle piece, a circle, an oval, um, one of the words, or kind of to mix it up, give you some different, um, different pieces. But these are the pieces that I had left that I used. And then um, in the box, y'all got some different pearls and little copper beads, so I incorporated that. I really like how it turned out. It's really, really pretty. And then I used some of the micro beads, and um, I think it turned out really well. The only thing that I forgot to use was this, and I'm sure y'all might be kind of curious as, you know, kind of how to use it. So basically what I like to do I like to kind of go along some of the edges on stuff. That's just kind of like what I like to do, just to kind of frame out stuff. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it just really, really does good. And then kind of take maybe a little bit, kind of add around the edges of the flowers. I really like that. It just kind of gives a different, um, you know, different color. Just kind of how it fans out on the edges there. And then if you wanted to put a little bit in the center of your flower, just to kind of give it, um, you know, a little extra look. You know, you could which I think that looks really nice to kind of go around the edges a little bit. Just adds a little extra color there. You know, and then if we wanted to come out here and maybe add a little bit more, you know, we could kind of, you know, add some on our pieces there, which well, I seem to have gotten some of the micro beads on here, so kind of do like that and which you could even um, kind of come out here you know on your stenciling that we did to kind of bring out some of that you know just kind of lightly go and that would just kind of it would just bring it up to the surface more so you can kind of get more detail that's the really cool thing about doing that, you know, to kind of bring it out a little bit. So, but I do overall hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. I just hate that it didn't have my voice on there kind of walking you through the steps because, you know, on most of my other videos, I do that. Um, so, but we'll just, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, you know, I might have to, if I'm going to do the real-time videos, um, I might have to just kind of break it up into smaller sections um, and maybe have more videos, but just break it up into little, you know, sections, um, which would be good anyway. That's kind of what I would like to do anyway. So, um it just might take longer to get the projects done and y'all might be waiting around for me to get to the next video. That's why I try to knock it out in as few videos as I can for y'all. But um, yeah, this is the wax paste, which I really like how it looks. It just, it adds that shimmer. 
um, just adds some more interest to your layout. So if y'all have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great evening. Bye.